Welcome to the Dream Big, My Friend podcast, where you will find all the inspiration you need to begin living a more intentional life today. Because no matter where you are right now in life, it's never too late to dream big, my friend. And now here's your host, Francis Vitakovic. Hey, before we jump into today's episode, did you know that I've created just for you a massive collection of freebies that includes my Do Something book. It's a no BS guide for anyone who wants to stop wasting their time today. There's also the Fabulous Day Cheat Sheet, the 25 Ways to Make Your Life Instantly Better Guide. I've also included a 12-month habit tracker template, the Abundant Mindset Guide. There's also the fantastic Your Future Self Workbook. It's a workbook designed to bring your future self to life. And finally, the Vent and Move On Workbook. It's a workbook I designed to help you resolve any issue. Right now, all these freebies are sitting inside my secret library, which you can sign up and access for your dreambigmyfriend.com forward slash freebie. That's forward slash freebies. There is honestly so much goodness there. Now it's time to dive into today's episode. Hello, my friends. This is Francis Vitakovic, and you are listening to the Dream Big My Friend podcast. Today's episode is all about what you can do when you're feeling really overwhelmed. So if you are a human in this current day society where it feels like we have so much on our plate, there is a good chance that you've experienced this emotion of feeling overwhelmed. So technically the definition of what overwhelm is, it's when you feel buried or drowned beneath a huge mass of something. Now the official definition says especially water, but when it comes to humans, more often than not, it's a feeling of our emotions, like our emotions are so strong, we don't know how to cope with it. There's simply this feeling that just everything is too much. And if we could get our heads wrapped around these emotions, if we could manage them better, then we'd probably feel less overwhelmed. That's what we believe. But I want to take this opportunity to step back and really have a look at what they call like the cognitive triad. So this is what I learned on my first day of psychology, and this is actually underpins everything that I speak about on this podcast, the importance of your thoughts and how they impact your feelings in this world and how your feelings are impacting your actions and consequently your results. So the most important thing to really understand about the feeling overwhelmed is that it is a feeling. It's just this feeling that sort of consumes us. But if we go back and have a look at the way that things work, like domino effect, the thoughts impact your feelings, which impact your actions and results, It all comes down to understanding that your thoughts, the thoughts you are having are actually making you feel overwhelmed. The feeling of overwhelm comes from a thought that you are having. And the truth that most people actually forget is that all circumstances in this world are actually neutral. So all the things that you're thinking about are actually neutral circumstances and they don't actually carry any weight. It doesn't have any meaning until you give it a thought, like you decide to think about something And you usually think that your thought is the truth. So let's just say that you have a really busy schedule. That schedule exists on its own. Now, someone could look at that schedule and think, oh my gosh, like I'm so lucky that I have these things to attend to. This is making me feel really productive and really connected to my goals. And I am just so excited to be taking this on. So that's one way of viewing a busy schedule. But then you can have someone else look at that same schedule and feel totally drowning and overwhelmed because it just feels like it's too much. But is it too much? Well, the truth is that's just a thought you've decided is true. You've just decided that it is too much. And I have to say that when it comes to talking about overwhelm, you can have so many different people fall under this particular bucket, like this feeling, this umbrella feeling of feeling overwhelmed. You can have people who are procrastinators who feel overwhelmed because they've got, you know, all these things to do that they're ignoring. They're putting it off till another day. They're not understanding the importance of taking action. And because they leave things till the very last minute, they just avoid doing what needs to be done. They start to feel overwhelmed. But then you can have on the opposite side of a spectrum, someone who is a go-getter, who takes action all the time, but they sort of stretch themselves to the limit. And as a consequence, once again, they start to feel overwhelmed. So can you see like two different sorts of personalities, the go-getters who are really proactive can still feel overwhelmed. And then you can have someone who is really laid back and carefree, but then they leave things to last minute, they procrastinate. And once again, they feel overwhelmed. So overwhelm is once again, just an emotion. It's an emotion that we are experiencing because we feel like things are just too much for us. Like we can't cope or we haven't found a way to cope. And as such, those challenges feel as if they are really too much for us to take. 
So I'm going to share with you in this episode what has actually helped me in this regard because feeling overwhelmed is actually a really common emotion that I have experienced in my own life. And the changing point for me was when I was once in a coaching session because even though I coach others, I still get coached myself. Like I really think that when it comes to your mindset, it's not something that comes always easily to us. We often need to like revisit the thoughts that are bringing on these emotions for us. And if you are feeling overwhelmed, like the first thing that you need to understand, it's it's the thoughts you are thinking that are making you feel overwhelmed. So how does this relate back to my own experience? Well, I know that whenever I would start the day, because I am a goal setter, I like to chase big goals. I like to set lots of actions. But every single time I started the day with this thought, because it starts with your thoughts, remember, whenever I started the day with this thought, oh my gosh, I just have too much on my plate. I think about that thought. So it's just a thought, might not be true. Like I've just decided that it's true. But when I was choosing to embrace thoughts like it's too much, like there's too many things for me to do. I've got too many things on my plate. Is it any surprise that the feelings that came as a result of that were feelings of overwhelm that led to my actions being really like scattered because I was, you know, feeling overwhelmed. I felt like I couldn't do it. I wanted to give up. And as a consequence, the results that I produced in my life were quite scattered, sometimes, you know, all over the place. I wasn't coming at life with thoughts of abundance and feeling like I could do it, feeling confident, feeling courageous. Instead, feeling overwhelmed was negatively impacting my day because it impacts the way that you show up when you're feeling overwhelmed. So here is a simple mindset shift that definitely made a massive difference in my life. I had my coach say to me, well, what would it be like just to assume that you have enough on your plate, like you have the right amount for you on your plate? Like, could you just decide that this is actually true, that we're all given exactly the right amount, like we're given the right amount every single day to cope with? Now, the moment I heard this, I'm telling you, it was like this massive load was off my shoulders. Now, it was just a thought, a thought about the same situation. So my circumstances hadn't changed, but it was just about looking at it in a different way and looking at it from the perspective that, hang on, I actually could have the right amount on my plate. Not too much, not too little, but the perfect amount. Now, when I embraced that different thought, okay, I have the right amount on my plate, I felt Okay, because the feelings come from your thoughts, remember. I actually then felt more at peace. I felt more confident, more willing and able to like tackle all the things on my schedule because it was the right amount. I wasn't given any more, any less than what I was had the ability to cope with. It was the right amount. And when I embrace it, that feeling of like feeling like it's the right amount, the overwhelm sort of just disappeared because that feeling of overwhelm comes from thinking that you can't cope. But when you just decide, well, hang on, I can actually cope with anything that comes my way. Now, I have to note here that when I was telling myself I've already got a lot on my plate, like way too much on my plate, I actually thought this was true. Like I had decided this was true. And if you were to ask me to produce the evidence, like, you know, why are you thinking this thought? Well, I could probably point out all the ways that I did have way too much on my plate. But like my coach pointed out to me, this is just a thought, a thought that I have chosen to think. Now I could embrace alternative thoughts instead, such as, you know, I have the right amount on my plate. I have the perfect amount to do each day, just the perfect amount rather than thinking, oh my gosh, like it's just way too much. Like I'm never going to get through the day. That just leads to feelings of overwhelm. Now, I think that many of us forget that our feelings do come from our thoughts. So if you're ever feeling any emotion, if you are feeling sad or happy or at peace, they're coming from the thoughts that you've chosen to embrace. And that's why I think that we need to remind ourselves that we're in control of our thoughts. Thoughts are a choice and that circumstances are actually neutral. And you can actually choose to think whatever you want to think, like you really can. So why not choose to embrace thoughts instead that lift you up and that serve you, like that make you feel better? So let's just say we can almost like reverse engineer this. If you want to feel great about your day, what thoughts do you want to embrace? Like what thoughts do you need to be thinking in order to take you to that place where you are feeling a particular way? Now, this can be really a light bulb moment if you've never stepped down to like analyze the way that your days might pass. Like you're feeling a particular way. You think it's because of this thought you're thinking and you think. And you're thinking this, that this thought is definitely true because you can produce all this evidence. But do not make any assumptions. Do not assume that those thoughts are the only ones that you have up your sleeve. The other thoughts that actually sometimes make us feel really overwhelmed are things like, well, I should. I should be further ahead than I am. I should be making more progress. I should be doing all this and more like I should. Those shoulds are once again just things that you decided that are true. 
and you can let them go. You can decide instead that I am exactly in the right place that I need to be. You can choose to think things like, well, I know I will get there in the end. I know I will get there in the end. I'm confident of what I have to offer others of my own ability. I trust the process. I'm willing to trust the process and I'm not in a rush to get there because sometimes overwhelm makes us feel like we are rushed, like it's just way too much, but always playing catch up. But what if we were just to embrace those new thoughts instead on a daily basis? Like we just decide that they are true. We know that we'll get there in the end, that we've got the perfect amount of our plate and we're confident of our ability to achieve what needs to be done for that day. And we'll always be doing the right amount. Now, sometimes that right amount, that's just a decision that we've made. Like we can decide that the right amount is is to take a rest, to take a breather, just to relax and take our time because we don't have to feel rushed because feeling rushed is based on the assumption that you should be somewhere else. You should be further along. But what if the truth is you're exactly where you need to be right now in life and that you can go at your own pace and that is okay. Like these are decisions that we just choose to embrace. So just in a nutshell, when it comes to feeling overwhelmed, the most important thing for me to like remind you of is that this is a feeling that is stemming from a thought that you are having and that you can choose to ditch any thoughts that aren't serving you. Those tr- thoughts that you're having are not the truth. You've just decided that it's true, but just loosen your grip on them. Decide to pick up a different thought that's going to make you feel better. So for me, definitely just deciding that I have the right amount on my plate that I'm trusting in this process. That thought is enough to grant me a little bit more peace, less overwhelmed, definitely, because it's hard to feel overwhelmed when you're thinking a thought like that, because that is an example of a thought that is supporting you. It's also an example of a healthy thought that will serve you well. You want to be thinking thoughts that make you feel better about your life, that don't make you feel so rushed and overwhelmed, and that grant you peace. So we're all going to have different ideas about what thoughts give us or generate those feelings for us. So take a moment to think about what would make you feel confident, what would make you feel at peace, what would make you feel less overwhelmed. Once again, the most important thing to like really understand is that those feelings are coming from thoughts that you are having. We need to be mindful of the thoughts that we choose to embrace because it doesn't just impact our feelings. Our feelings then go on to impact the actions that we take, like you, you act a particular way when you are feeling a particular way. And those actions that we're taking when they're fueled by a particular emotion, and ideally you want it to be a positive emotion, it's going to impact the results that you have in your life. So look at all the results that you have in your life. That's all stemmed from the actions that you've taken, which have come from the feelings that you've had. And it all starts with numero uno, like the thoughts that you have. So that is why it is so important to like look at your thoughts, especially if you want to get rid of that feeling of, of overwhelm. It really all does start with your thoughts, okay? And you hold the power to choose any thought that you want. And ideally, you want to be choosing thoughts that support you on this journey in life that you are taking, my friend. One last note, if you are a mum and you often feel overwhelmed, make sure to check out my product, the Mum Mindset Reboot Workbook, because that's definitely going to help shift your perspective in so many aspects of parenting and also just like living life with more intention and purpose even when you do have enough on your plate, okay? It's enough, it's not too much. That's what we need to just decide is true. And also just remember that you always have the option of removing things from your plate. Like if you have this idea that it's too much, well, what would be enough? Like you get to decide, you get to say no, you get to set your priorities, you get to take care of yourself because when you take care of yourself, it is so much easier to show up as the best version of yourself in this world. So take care, my friend, as always. I love and appreciate you all, and I can't wait to catch you in the next episode. Until then, dream big, my friend. Thank you so much for listening. If you loved this episode, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out. And if you really loved it, you can show your support by leaving a review on iTunes. For more inspiration, head over to dreambigmyfriend.com where you will find even more content for all the dreamers out there. Until next time, dream big, my friend.